The effects of a devastating shack fire in March are still visible. Hundreds of wood and iron structures were raised to the ground and several people died. Many were temporarily relocated to a local sports field, but residents claim authorities have not fulfilled their promises. They are demanding proper housing and electricity. City several times lying to us. They give us a promise to make a super broken, but there's, no, there's nothing there on top, it's happening. Now we need action. This weekend, frustrations boiled over, and for a second day, roads were blockaded, the debris, evidence of their anger. We are living in such a shameful manner here. No one can tolerate the way we're living here. It's very painful and it's very saddening. The city of Cape Town says it needs time to engage residents. I think it is worth understanding that initially people were meant to be uh, housed here for only three months. And because the area is a wetland, we, we can't afford to install electricity in each and every structure. Hence, we wanted to speedily get this project of super blocking over and done with. Police are monitoring the situation. Mlamli Maneli, SABC News, Cape Town.